wanted to put this out there before uh, the video starts. Um, one thing I did notice about buying a trailer, it's definitely harder to buy a trailer than a truck. And I don't even know why. But I did have a lot of difficulties buying a trailer. Um, my best advice when buying a trailer is... Uh, you can buy it with cash, do that. Because trying to finance a trailer is very, I guess it's very difficult. And I just couldn't figure out why. Um, but if you need to, if you have to finance a trailer, try to get something, you know, in a good price range with a decent, um, with a decent uh, pay, down payment. Um, that's the best advice I can give to you guys about buying a trailer. Especially a reefer trailer. Um, Cause also reefer, if you plan on traveling like California and stuff like that, it has to be uh, what's the word uh, legal or whatever. It has to be seven years. Seven years. The motor has to be seven years or newer uh, or something like that. Um, I don't go out there, so it didn't apply to me. Uh, I would never go out there with this truck. So be mindful of that. Um, it's not also it's not necessary for you guys to get newer trailers um, I don't know it's just unnecessary to get newer trailers you know my trailer is a 2013 trailer with a 2013 motor and it does just as fine just make sure the inside is good the walls are good the motor works and we're speaking on reefers and your brakes are good and your tires are good now if you're looking for a drive in a little bit more simpler. Make sure that, that the walls is good and the floors is good. Um, like I said, I see guys with like trailers 98s and 97s and they still pulling them joints. So, you know, that tells you right there. But I just wanted to uh, drop that before the video started. You know, check out the video. YouTube, what's going on? Um, to drop another video for you guys right now currently i'm in north carolina uh, about 50 miles this is right there 50 56 miles away from fayetteville headed home i got a delivery tomorrow morning uh, about 30 minutes outside where i live at uh, anyways so i did a little poll for a uh kind of videos y'all want me to drop. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this video about what to buy as far as a van or a reefer trailer. Um now as y'all see as y'all know or seen through my previous videos I uh I started off leasing which means I had my truck already and I was renting a trailer from the carrier and um uh, I did that for a while, you know, and then when I jumped out and got my own authority, I didn't, I, I wanted to get a trailer. I didn't want to do the power only thing and, you know, I didn't want to do that. And the thing is, when I came up deciding whether I wanted a van trailer or a reefer trailer, I had to put it out there and figure out which was the best route for me to go. Step deck and all that other stuff was out of the question already because I didn't want to do that. So, with me doing driving for so long, I kind of knew what the numbers was. And driving is also the lowest in, in the division of trucking, and they're not consistent. Even though I live in a state which is uh, I live in Virginia, it's mostly driving. It's just not consistent enough for me. Um, so. I did reefer when I was local. I never did reefer when I was OTR. I did reefer when I was local and I worked for uh, PFG. So I kind of already knew the reefer game, you know. Um, and a couple of my friends and buddies, they do reefer. So uh, one thing I didn't like about reefer was the long periods of time that being in the, the shippers and receivers. But reefer is the most consistent because it's dealing with food. Everybody 
they gotta eat. So I figured, okay, I was doing some numbers on Reefer and that would made me decide to go get a Reefer trailer. And uh, that was the best division for me to go into as far as when I got my authority. It made the most sense. Uh, now, I'm not saying that you can, I'm not saying that you, you don't have to, you can't go into uh, getting your own authority and doing driving. You can do that as well. You just got to figure out your numbers. You know, you got to do your numbers. You got to figure out, does it, is it going to work for me? Getting my authority, insurance, truck payment, and, uh, you know, just the rates. Is it going to work for me? You know, um, there's plenty of people out here that got doing authority that do driving. I'm not against it. Now, I have decided that I will get a drive-in trailer eventually, you know, for when I add on a driver. But initially, I wanted to start it off in a reefer. Um, and it's been the best, most profitable, profitable for me. Um, dealing with the COVID-19 and all that stuff, uh, reefer has been, uh, been doing well for me. Now I get a lot of I get a lot of uh, 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 emails about uh, can I do driving with my own authority? Like I said, you can. Again, you have to do your numbers. I don't, everybody's situation is different. I don't know what everybody's situation is, but um, you can do driving with your own authority. Uh, driving is cheap to get as well. Uh, as far as picking the type of trailers, I don't, I'm not really with the spring. Spring, uh, the spring, uh, spring brakes. I, I need air ride. Uh, I don't like messing with those uh, lever, the, the, the level, the levelers. I need to press that button, air ride. Um, that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, the spring brakes, you can get them cheaper. Um, but I just seen too many problems with those.
live at, reefer, uh, more so 4 to 6K, maybe more, depending on where you live at, uh, and where you like to run, and how, how often you run, how hard you run. Uh, it's also, like I said, it all depends on location. Uh, like I said, I'm in the state of Virginia. Uh, it's mostly drive-in freight. But like, I said, like I said in the previous video, uh, or maybe a video or two ago, I said that I, I'm on a dedicated lane.